What's up guys, it's your girl Hypnotic Lady and I am back with another hair tutorial. Today I will be working with the company Y Wigs. Here I'm just showing you guys what came inside the packaging. Of course you get your net cap, your white paper. I also got this wig cap on my bag which had all my information about my wig on my bag and um, a cute little hair tie, some lashes and then the wig. This is the wig right here. I did go ahead and bleach my knots and put makeup on my lace. It does come with combs and adjustable straps in the back and here you guys see I already did go ahead and put them together and I'm just showing you guys the lace. It did come pre-plucked and everything. This is a 13 by 6 lace wig so you can do deep middle and side parts. Here I'm just showing you guys the part, sorry, the amount of parting space you guys can do. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to install. I just went ahead and cut off the excess lace and matching everything up with the perimeter of my hairline to make sure everything looks good. Now, I'm going to go in and cut out my ear tabs. This part is crucial. You wanna go ahead and make sure that um, everything lays flat and seamlessly on your um, hairline because any extra lace will start lifting up after a while. So yeah. Now I'm just going to go in and part out a thin section of hair or lace, whichever one you prefer. And this will be the hair that I will be cutting off or the excess lace that I will be cutting off that I will not need. Once I go ahead and do that, I'm going to go in and make sure everything looks right before we install with my adhesive. And for my adhesive, I'm just going to be using the Got To Be Spray. Um, I didn't want to have a strong hold with this wig, so I go in with my Got To Be Free Spray, like so. Now, um, once I like my hairline, like I said, I wiped my hairline down, the perimeter of my hairline off camera with alcohol. And then you wanna take your Got To Be Glued spray bottle, do a light thin coat on each side, and use your blow dryer on low cool. Once you feel like your um, adhesive is tacky enough, you wanna go ahead and lay your lace down and firmly press. Don't press too hard, cause it'll like make the lace all gunky and full of glue, not glue, sorry, lace, with, not lace, what the hell? We'll make your lace full of hairspray and then it won't look good, so yeah. Just continue these steps like so. As you guys can see, I'm just lightly pressing in the lace um, into my hairline, and I'm using my blow dryer on low cool. For this look, I will be going in and doing a deep side part. So here I am, I'm just going in and parting out how I want my part. Um, I'm going to be using my hot comb and this wax stick that I have to smooth down my bang. Um, but yeah, once you get your part, you wanna go in and section off the rest of your hair so we can start styling. I just took like a little duckbill clip and started pressing out um, my bang on the other side and make sure that was flat enough and to my liking. And then once I get it flat enough, um, you wanna start working on your molding, your bang down into your swoop. 
But yeah, you wanna just continue like so until you get to your middle portion where you'll be actually molding down your swoop and then we'll go from there. Now we're starting to part out sections of our swoop. And like so, like I said, you wanna take your hot comb and just press everything out to make sure that it's super, super flat. And you want it laid and neat, so once you pull your swoop together, everything will look good. Um, for my swoop, I'm going to part, start parting out sections in the front of my face and just straighten my hair down and also kind of to, towards the side. Whichever way you want to swoop your hair, that is how you want to straighten your hair. And here I'm just pulling it over to see if I like the placement. And then I'm just going to keep going once I <clears throat> get the shape that I like until I get up to the top of my head and then we'll finish pressing out the hair and then we'll be done. mold my bang down a little bit more easier I'm going to take a rat tail comb and my free spray that you guys seen here I'm just you know holding the hair all together and combing it also while molding my swoop if that makes any sense and just pulling it behind my ear getting a nice tug and neat and lay down before I lay everything down. And I'm going to secure my swoop with um, some bobby pins. I, I think I believe I took like two or three. And you just wanna go ahead and put them right by your ear going towards up. Make sure you don't put them too, um, too many cause you'll have it like an irritation. But yeah, I put like two or three um, little swoops and this was the outcome of the look and I ended up loving it, so yeah. Thank you. 
this is what your bang should look like once you've secured it and you like the placement of everything and I just combed down the excess hair that will be falling over it. Now I'm just going to go in and um, thin out my baby hairs before I lay them down. Y'all, I absolutely did no plucking to this hairline at all. Um, initially when I put the wig on, everything came out the box just like that. Like I said, all I did was bleach the knots and then go in and put makeup on my lace. But as you guys can see, now I am going in to thin out some of my baby hairs before I lay everything down like so, cause you know, I don't want no thick baby hairs. That doesn't look natural at all. To lay down my baby hairs, I will be going in with my cuticle scissors to cut um, my baby hairs, and then I will be going in with my got to be glue. Um, I just did a simple swoop and now I'm just going to go in and do my ear tab like so. Y'all already know how I do my baby hairs. Um, if you want to see an in detail video of how I do my edges, then I will more than happily record one for you guys. Just comment below. But yeah, I'm just going to do two simple swoops um, on the other side where my bang will not be for my bob and then we're just going to press the hair out and then that will complete the finished look. <laughs> Here I'm going to take a little bit of my LA Pro Girl Concealer and just go in and define my part just a little bit because I had like a little black mark or line of demarcation where you could see, um, I think, the cap up under my wig. So here I'm just going in with this little e.l.f. brush that I got from like my local CVS and my concealer to define my part. Now I'm going to go in and press out the rest of the hair. And this is my Babyless Pro Straightener. You guys ask me all the time about this straightener. I got it from Sally Beauty for like 80 bucks, like two years ago, and it is bomb.com. But yeah, like I said, you just wanna go in and press out the rest of your hair. And I did lose my footage of me finishing for some reason, closing out this video and everything. So I'm just gonna, just put in a clip it of um, the finished product of my hair once it's done. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this look right here. I know I did. This is Y Wigs. This is their highlighted bob. It is 14 inches and it does come with 13 by 6 parting space. Also comes with adjustable straps and combs. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.